Friends, comrades, ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between and beyond. Today, we're going to be doing the Cayo Perico heist. The actual heist. Uh, we only have one more prep to do. We just need to get a pilot for our little stealth helicopter. Part two, the pilot. This one doesn't take long. We'll be getting to the proper heist very, very soon. We didn't do it last time just because that video was running a bit long. And it's like, you know, even with me fast-forwarding through all the helicopter transportation, you're starting to get a bit long. So I decided, well, you know, let's do this one next time. Ooh, bit of a graphical glitch there. Come on, Rockstar. A new, uh, a new DLC just dropped on Tuesday, so i would probably start doing some of that next week. There is only <clears> one <throat> pilot we need for this operation. Air Force veteran with a chest full of ribbons and no fear of causing international incident. He is perfect, but not a man who works for money. Still, there is always a way. Not so long ago, his pet plane, a project of his, was stolen. You recover this, he will be in your debt, yes? He has given its location. Let's do our good deed for the day. I'm kind of worried about this person on the Mark II oppressor. <laughs> Not sure what to expect there, but yeah, I'm just going to fly over the place right now. You can see this new little icon on the map. It's the Los Santos uh, car meet, which is basically it's, it's like people would organize their own little car shows on usually at the airport, the Los Santos airport. But they added like a special building where you can do it. You'll be protected from orbital cannons and people attacking you. Um, Okay, I have to steal someone's rogue plane, right? Yeah. And I don't want to shoot missiles at it, because if I damage the plane, it'll make it harder to fly. So we're just going to land over here and do that. The new the new DLC is basically like... The pilot has fitted plane with tracker. Up, up, Pavel. God. Eyes open, Captain. Uh, it adds car meets and like street races and stuff like that. It's probably an awesome DLC if you're into racing in this game. Unfortunately, that's my least favorite activity in this game, and... Let me shoot you in the head, you sucker. Gonna get up? He's gonna get up, right? Okay, um, of course I need to get away over there, don't I? Oh, God, I landed on the wrong side of the fence. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh well. We can fix that. I'll just get into my little hopter copter. Yeah, unfortunately, like, street racing, well, racing in general in this game, it's something that kind of wish I was into. Like, it it's, seems like a lot of fun. I'm just terrible, terrible at it. I'm better at shooting. There, they can take my helicopter. <laughs> there we go. It's... Ooh, what a beautiful plane. Black and red. Can't go wrong. Oh yeah, we do have... We do have some explosive cannons on this bad thing. Oh, let's let's go, let's go. Get those landing gear stowed away. This is a fairly fast little thing too, so we can get to our destination in short time. It's just climbing. Ooh, it's nice and foggy. What a foggy day. Love it. Good day to rob a private island. A world class chef. Awesome. Yeah, the the tuners DLC. Um you know, I've I've basically just poked at it a tiny bit. There's not a lot of content there that is really for me, but I think people who've done a lot of uh, racing in this game are gonna like it a lot. Um, it adds a new like subclass of cars called tuners that you can I think you can do them up like Bentley's cars, so you can have them with pistons, so the car can like 
shake and jump and all that stuff. It's weird. But uh, it's for like illegal straight ra street racing. Uh, there's a new auto shop that you can buy and do some like legal car dealing. <laughs> uh, it's not a huge money maker, but I mean it has. The, the interesting thing about it is it has like mini heists, and that is where I think the DLC might appeal to me. But uh, yeah, I mean it's it's not going to be competing with Kyle Perico for money making. It's not going to be. Um, Probably not going to be competing with a lot of other DLC for money making or fun even. But uh, if you're if you're a racer, if you're a racer. You like racing cars. It's going to be for you. They've got an awesome DLC for you. I mean, it, I, I watch Bruffy's channel here, and he seems to like it a lot. He seems to think it's like one of the best DLCs ever. So, for racers, it's a good thing. For the more action-oriented people, well, it'll be a nice little distraction, I guess, <laughs> between shooting, um, <laughs> between the, the video game violence. I'm going to hijack this plane. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my submarine in style. Hopefully this doesn't crash into my submarine when I abandon it, but I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it won't. Oh, shut up, Dave. Knock, knock. Dave here. I should probably just do his missions at some point. So he'll stop calling. Now the kind of music lads have been it with a bad case of the munchies. They're after pizza specifically, and only something from the mainland will do. I don't suppose you can see your way to flying some over business class. No. Oh, that's a crying shame. Be the change you wish to see and all that. Ah, I'll just have to see if anyone delivers to the Caribbean. No one delivers to the Caribbean, you fool. Uh, am I orange? No, I'm pink. Where's my... Where's my submarine? You tell me someone sank it. Must be this way. I really hope no one sank it. That would... <laughs> that would suck. Let's see. Uh, oh, someone did sink it. Wow. I think it was that Mark II player. Went and sank my battleship. What a jerk. I don't go around sinking your private submarines. New email received. Probably asking me to buy an auto shop or something. Get a crazy visual. Let's dive bomb. Dive bomb our submarine. Oh no. <laughs> Is this gonna blow up? No. We need to get out. <laughs> Some wreckage. There's another submarine, like, right beside mine. What the hell? The ocean these days is just full of submarines. I can get up there. There we go. Yeah. So, Tuner's DLC. Like, the cars that were added to it. Uh, they're not even the fastest cars in the game. Well, I think there's one muscle car that's now the fastest muscle car. But, um, you know, great DLC for racers. And that that's okay. I mean, Kyle Perico was in the, was the winter update. It added a whole new heist and lots of uh, nice action for the rest of us. And a good moneymaker as well if you're trying to do the grind. Um, summer DLC last year was also just for basically racers. I think it added a couple new small cars that they liked. But no action. No action to speak of, anyway. Um, whoops. What am I doing here? Come on, go to the finale. Oh, there we go. Here it is. We're gonna start. We got our pilot. We did him a favor. Now he's gonna pilot our stealth chopper. So now we get to the chopper. And 
raid this island, finally. I think uh, from gather intel to finish, some people can do this in about an hour. For me, it takes about an hour and a half, maybe, maybe a tiny bit longer than that. Still, still a lot faster than doing, like, Sino, <laughs> um, which requires a crew. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we're going to select our stealth helicopter infiltration point. I like to go to the south drop zone, which is very nice and close to the compound. Compound entry point. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the main gate. Um, the other thing to do, the other thing, like, I like the helicopter. You can also use the long fin to get down to the main gate, uh, the grill, the grate um, below, and... That's also that's an even better entrance point to be honest. Um, and oh yeah, what do I want to do? Probably the main dock. Main dock is fine. And time of day, I don't think this makes a difference. This doesn't make a difference that I notice anyway. So we have suppressors, just making sure. I'm not going to hire a support crew. We're going to take 100% of the cut. Maybe if I ever record myself doing this again, I will. I will uh, at that time a crew with me but for now no you stay away um some ammo stuff yeah okay let's do that cool the word for world is forest let's do it i'm an agitator almost there i told you this pilot was good listen up island's right there and we're not in pieces yet Delta is working. Just look down there. It brings back memories, huh? Await your signal from the pilot. Not long to go. Good luck. When this helicopter was first added to the game, I was so disappointed because the Akula is just better in every way. And it's also a stealth helicopter. And I already had an Akula, so unless you like really love the looks of this one, there's no reason to buy it. Okay. This <laughs> is the part where you leave. His voice lines aren't even synced with the action. He's telling me to leave already, even though I can't. I have to wait till I'm over that circle. Where, I don't know, what's he gonna build here? Like another shack or another watchtower? Don't panic, but we're gonna be dropped on that island in chunks if you don't get going. Shush you. And... Away we go. That janky little line coming out. Drag ourselves down. Whee! You have to resist the urge to say "wee" when you go down, because there might be guards in the area. Um, well, what's that red spot on my? Out you go. Okay, is that just the helicopter on the radar? Is he hostile to me? Did I like? Did I stink up the helicopter or something? <laughs> Whoa! Why does he hate me? Why is he red? Why is he hostile? GPS tracker confirmed. I hired you. Okay, so the thing to do, go up to this little camping area. Sometimes there could be something like a grappling hook or uniform that's useful there. I'm just gonna come over here. When dealing with paranoid drug lords, expect CCTV everywhere. Get him out of there. And basically I will check over here very quickly just to see if there's a grappling hook. If there's a handy grappling hook, that basically just helps me out a little bit. Um, because I can just climb over the walls, which will give me a couple shortcuts. But seeing none, I'll just keep going. And we'll stop here, where, you know, it's broad daylight, so these guys should be able to see me, honestly, but... Get rid of him. Get rid of that camera. And the next two people, you can take them out, but there's actually, you can squeeze past them. Um, which is what I'm going to do. That's the code for the compound. Oh, there's a car coming. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, it's going the other way. Okay, good. Okay. You can actually just barely get past their cone of vision if you just hug <laughs> this little hedge. Hug this tree. 
That's probably not as close as I thought it was, but keep going this way. Softly, softly approach. There we go. Bing Fang Foom. We're out. Have to take out his guards. Um I actually like to go in from the other side over here. See him? Stick to the main objective. Get into the vault. Ah, clear. Not far now. Where are you? Is that a car coming? Yes, it is. It's not going to come over this way. Face. Okay, now he's going to come up to the window and I'll get rid of him too. Goodbye. Don't worry, these are just tranquilizer darts. Yeah, that's it. Tranquilizer darts. You okay, mister? Oh god. I had a violent allergy to the tranquilizer darts. Off the blood everywhere. And this is where I like to get in. If you're not going through the main, like, the, the grill under the place, like water, this is my favorite way to get in. I think if I were going with a crew, I don't know, it really depended. With a random crew, I would probably just want to go underwater just to avoid any possibility of them screwing up. <laughs> when you're going with randoms, you really need to just do everything you can to minimize... Minimize the possibility of them screwing it up. You gotta really hold some hands. <laughs> yeah, this is why I really like the military rifle here. Um, You're in the area where Mr. Rubio's personal bodyguards operate. These men will know every soldier under their command. No disguise. There's a key. can silently move this way. Oh, it's one of those keys. Crap. I was hoping for the actual gate key, uh, which we are going to need to find, so... Bang. We didn't have it. That's a bit loud. <laughs> uh, boom, there's a key there. Hopefully that's the one I need. Yes, it is. Okay, great. And now we're in business. Okay, we do need to avoid being seen by this person. He knows I'm here? That's so bizarre. <laughs> okay. Um, I could shoot him, but the camera's watching, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show some restraint. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, there was no artwork. Um, and if there's no artwork, then I don't need to worry about going up to the office. So... Go this way. Don't worry, that person with the red cone won't see us. He's up too high. And hello, door. Let's go through this. And we're uh, under the vault. I am indeed walking through walls. It's a special ability I've obtained. So the trick is to look through, look at the spaces between the lines for me. I don't know, that's 
That's my method. Rather than looking at the lines. I think that would just give me a headache. So I look at the spaces between the lines and try to match that up. And... Oh, come on. Need a... Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. This is on hard mode, right? <laughs> Did I only have to do two there? Did it work? We must be close now. Oh, indeed, we are close. We made it again. We've made it so many times. I have gotten tequila in this run pretty much every time. Like, I know there's other loots out there. Actually, um, a few weeks ago, they had a special week where you can get this Diamond Panther thing. Before the Diamond Panther week, I got, uh, oh yeah, such a weird key command for this. Um, okay, be quiet, Pavel. Um, before the Diamond Panther week, I got, oh my god, Pavel, shut up. <laughs> nice. Um, before the Diamond Panther week, I always got bearer bonds. I always got bearer bonds, every time. So I did it, I think, seven times before that week. Seven out of seven bearer bonds. And that's actually from that that I got the idea of the special brownies. I thought, like, okay, that'll be a recipe for the special brownies, and we'll get the oregano and icing sugar and all that. Um, after the Diamond Panther, during the Diamond Panther week, I got the one, I did it once, I got the Diamond Panther, it was awesome, good payout. And then since then, it's been tequila every time, and I think I've done it like another six times since then. So, very, very unfortunate uh, random loot table. I just seem to get getting the same thing every time. I would love to get like a... Anything other than tequila. Tequila is actually the worst loot. <laughs> it's the least valuable loot you can get on this island. Okay, and we're gonna knock this guy out. Boom. And we're out. Get the hell out of here. Come on, cinematic. Come on, there we go. I get the tequila every time, and it's so annoying. <laughs> There's literally anything else would be more valuable. So, Rockstar, I don't know, fix the loot table, please? <laughs> fix the random generator? The random number gen? It's just not fair. to get rid of the two people at the gate. And we're going to do that by coming over here. To about here. And we're going to use our high-powered <laughs> sniper rifle to hit both of them when their heads are lined up. There we go. Boom. Two for one. There's one more guy there, but Let's get him on the way out. Okay, now we need to make a mad dash for the main docks. Oh no, it's a car coming. It looks like. By the sounds of it, Mr. Rubio is getting back in his helicopter. Watch out! So you might think these bushes are really annoying, but it's actually kind of fun. It, the helicopter is out there looking for us, and. It actually does have line of sight that can be blocked by the bushes. Very nice little bit of detail there. So as long as you, you know, kind of Rambo it and you hide in the jungle, hide in the foliage. I could like hide right here, for example, and the helicopter might not see me. I could hide right here. Helicopter will definitely not see me. And it's so awesome. So nicely detailed. Um, so as annoying as that foliage is to drive through, it is actually kind of cool how it interacts with lines of sight. So let's get rid of this guy because he's coming closer to us. 
we'll switch to our pistol here. Where's the camera? Okay, we're just gonna sneak under that. Now, luckily, we have two icing sugars right here. Ah, uh, yes. Just gotta fill our bags with this stuff. Actually, I think the um, oregano, because it doesn't take half a bag per pile, it takes something like approximately a third. I think it is actually more valuable by just a few thousand. <laughs> I think it's actually more valuable by just like two or three thousand, which is not much in this game. It's not really worth going out of your way for. Oh, crap. Get in there. Okay, what we need to do... Steal a boat. Helicopter's way off. Basically, all we needed. Oh, <laughs> I almost dove onto the boat. That would have been really good. That would have been an awesome way to enter the boat. Let's get on here. Gotta be honest, it doesn't really matter if we set off alarms now, but I'm gonna try not to anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get this we don't get spotted by this boat. Um, I mean, basically, if you get spotted, the, the helicopters all come after you. And, I mean, if you're at this point, it's not a big deal. You can you can get away. You won't lose much. There's a chance that you'll lose a bit. Because as you get shot, you know, your loot falls out of your bag. It gets shot up. Loses uh, value. But you're only going to lose maybe a few thousand. It's not that bad. Not that bad at this point. You can just basically dash off into the sunset. Or sunrise. I have no idea which one that is. So north is that way. Never eat shredded wheat. So it's, yeah, setting. Sunsets in the west, they say. So, I don't know if that's true in GTA. I assume so. I know, it's trying to be realistic, right? Oh man, that's so easy. Such a, such a breeze. And, you know, you can do this, like, every hour and a half, basically. <laughs> Unless you've really got it down to a, to a science, then you can do it to, in one hour. But, pretty awesome. Boom. Platinum, naturally. I don't have any competition there. If I had a full team, I guess that would have been my potential take, but... I get 100% of 1 million... 1.2 million. It's pretty nice. I didn't complete it very fast, so that's kind of annoying. Full loot bags. I mean, I guess if I had gone under the grill, if you get the long fin, you go under water, get to the grill, start off in the compound, I guess you can probably get that 15 minute mark much more easily. Um, provided, you know, your escape plan is close to the good loot, it's worth doing. Take some shots of that Sensimido tequila with my client I guess is he, would they would he be my client or my patron I don't <laughs> I don't know which enjoy a lime We're gonna have some special brownies together someone's baking the special brownies as we speak they're gonna be a huge hit on the uh, the world chef scene they're gonna be on the food network in no time and that was the Kyle Petty go heist now, what would be really tragic is if you have a griefer waiting here for people to complete the heist and then just gunning them down. That would be <laughs> that would be the absolute worst. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little run of heist stuff. I love heists in this game. It's my favorite favorite stuff, favorite stuff in the game to do. Um, and I'll probably be doing some more of them if I can get a crew together for the casino. That would be quite fun. Maybe I'll set it up intentionally 
uh, random crew unfriendly. <laughs> and we'll just see, see us stumble around like idiots. Or I'll just join random crews on it. I don't know. We'll see which. Yeah. Camp out here. Thank you so much for watching. You can click all of the buttons. Be like a little child in the button factory. Click everything. Push everything. Boom. And uh, I'll catch you on whatever we get up to next. Maybe we'll check out some of that tuner content next week. Ciao, ciao.